Well, next on Faith and Friends, we're continuing our theme of love. Imagine this is your life, and maybe you're at this point. Your kids are grown, you have grandchildren, maybe you even have great-grandchildren. And what if God says, I want you to start a family again? Hmm. How would you respond? For Jackie Wilson, the response was, okay, God, I'm your servant. And today she can also add, once again, the title of mom. Dancy Moeller has a special interview with the Wilson family. Well, thanks so much. I am so pleased to introduce Jackie Wilson to all of you. Jackie has quite a story, and her story is here with her, really. Just part of it, though. Um, Jackie has adopted um, a, a new family, really, and um, I just am so excited to talk with you and, and learn um, your inspiration and motivation. So welcome to you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us here today. Yeah. So you. you want to introduce your children to us? Yes. Uh, to my left is Dayanne okay. Wilson. Her nickname is Day Day. Okay. And Shy Wilson and Annette Wilson. And you are how old? Go. Eleven. You're eleven. Shy? Nine. Nine. Ten. And ten. Wow, so um, you have a new home, and how long have, um, I, I guess this June has been a monumental month for all of you, because yes. this is made, this month, they became officially Wilsons, right? Yes, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So how long were they in your home? They were placed in my home um, October of 2015. Okay. So they was there about six months, maybe six and a half months. Okay. And so Jackie, tell me, um, you know, just the thought of fostering children is a big endeavor for a lot of people and yes. one that a lot um, of us are afraid to consider. Mm -hmm. And then adopting is another, um, you know, challenge um, that, that has a lot of twists and turns to it as well. Yes. Um, and then when you are 60 years old. 63. You're 63 now, yes. right? But when you started thinking about this, how old were you? 63. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday coming up next month. Uh, okay. So July the 4th, 64. That's true, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and you have already raised your own children, your yeah. grandma and a great grandma. Yes. Which is amazing, congratulations. Thank you. How did you get here? How did I get here? Mm -hmm. Danzy, if anyone would have told me at age 63 that I would raise a second generation of today's children, yeah. I would have said, heck you no. Know. Uh -huh. Heck you no know to the no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was part of the plan. It was definitely part of the plan. The greater plan. The greater plan, absolutely. When these kids were placed in my home and uh, I read their profile, it just, my heart just, it just saddened my heart. Yeah. Because here are three beautiful children. Mm -hmm. They are. That no one wants to adopt together. Okay. Are they blood siblings? These are blood siblings. Okay. And uh, that saddened me. Yeah. I was raised in a home with a single parent as well. Oh, okay. But mother had kept all her kids. Uh-huh. Okay. And um, I said, my God, children are our future. Right. We have got to get about our father's business. Mm-hmm. And grab these children. Give them stability. Give them a home. Help them to get the best education they can get in life. Mm -hmm. We want these children to become productive citizens. Mm -hmm. And they can be in a Christian-based home. Absolutely. They can be. So did someone approach you, or were you looking to become a foster parent? Well, no, I, not to adopt. Uh, one of my daughters, Keisha, and I discussed going back into foster care. I, this is my second time fostering children. Okay. Uh, my former husband and I fostered in the early 80s. And uh, yeah, there was a void here. I'm a writer and I've published two books. You, you're aware mm -hmm. of that. And I'm writing again. However, there was still a void in my life. 
Okay, you felt something. I, was something missing. was missing, mm -hmm. and I knew it wasn't God. Okay, mm -hmm. and so T Keisha said, "Well, Mom, why don't you get back into foster, fostering children?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Wow." So I did the research and uh, fostered many, many teenagers. But then there was a point that I knew it was time for a switch. I had to grab the babies. I had to get the younger kids. I gotcha. Okay. okay. Primarily, my reason to foster is to introduce these kids to Jesus Christ. Oh. To impart that word, the seed of salvation, into this kid's spirit. Right. So that God can draw them to him. Right. And do what they have already been called to do. Well, you know, when you said that you had done this in the 1980s, life has changed dramatically yes. <laughs> since the 1980s. I sure, um, you know, you have all been exposed to social media. Um, you're on the computers at school now. Um, you know, you have the phones and so forth. Um, you know, those are great temptations that are stealing our kids, mm -hmm, you know, and their minds and their hearts. Yes. Um, would you say that's been a challenge for you to, to deal with some of that? Well, when I fostered the teenagers, yes, okay. that was a great challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, with the younger kids, it has not been a challenge. Uh, I just say, hey, this is going, we're not going to be on the computer. Uh, they do not have a cell phone. They do not have an iPad or any electronic device at this time mm -hmm. because that comes with responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to open up uh, the world to my children like that. Mm -hmm. They have already been exposed to a lot mm -hmm. already at a younger age. So basically when we're on the computer, we're pretty much on it together. I'm monitoring to see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We play games. Um, so, you know, yeah. it's not a challenge for me at this point. And I do, do not believe it's going to be one because Good. I'm starting out with them. Exactly. You know, doing exactly. it the right way. Well, how do you, you know, um, when folks become grandparents, they always say that's the greatest joy because they can start over again, but they can hand the kids back to mom right. and dad. But um, would you say that this is a, another beginning for you somewhat as a parent that, you know, you can look back on raising your own children and, and some of the joys, but also some of the struggles, and you can use that as an example? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, how, how are you different? Wow, you know what, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I feel complete. Matter of fact, I am complete. Um, I'm doing what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm just, I'm glowing. Yeah. I go to bed earlier, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you do, but also have to get up earlier. <laughs> right, but they go with me. You know, sometimes they pile up in my bed and we're gonna watch a movies together and guess who go to sleep first? I do. Yes. <laughs> yes. But uh, it's a joy having these kids in my home. It's a joy and it's an honor. I, I want to tell the audience that we don't have the mic mic'd right now, so we don't have microphones on you for uh, anyone to be able to really hear you. And I would love to talk with all of you, but could you give me a, a nod that looking back maybe two years ago where you were to where you are now, are you much happier? Yes. Yes. I love that. I love that. I'm sure that um, you've got so much love in your home now and and stability, right? I mean, you know that this is this is your this is your life and this is your home. So I, I'm thrilled for all of you. So was it a difficult process? Because that is another thing that I hear a lot is that you know there's so many hurdles to have to jump over in order to get here. You know what? It was not difficult for me because it was a part of the plan. Yeah. It wasn't anything that, okay, I'm going to adopt these kids. No. When God spoke to me and said, you are to adopt these kids and raise them in the fear and admonition of me. No, it was no, the process was easy. That's incredible. It was simply easy. We did what we had to do and and that yeah. was it. Yeah. It's amazing. It I is. Mean, really. It is amazing. It is. And, and, when you, and when you just listen for that voice, and, and, and you know it, don't right, you? Right, absolutely. You've got that 
calling in your heart that doesn't give up. Doesn't give up. Doesn't give up. Doesn't so give up. Um, you would say you're complete now. I'm, I'm going to say that today, but you know, don't you or wonder? Now. Yeah. Or now. Yeah. yeah. What's that for now? Exactly. Because we never know. Definitely. Well, congratulations to all of you, and um, I'm thrilled for each of you. And Jackie, thank you so much for for being a mom to our future generation and um, and listening to God's call. Thank you. Thank you for having us here.